the southern European exactly. countries that mm. yeah, we didn't work. No, it was quite negative. It was super. It was super yeah. depressing to do art or to do exactly. any kind of mm. thing. And that kind of feeling that is kind of like a lost generation. I, I think I had yes. that insecurity yes. feeling for a long time. Totally. Yeah. And then I remember when we were in the university, we were like striking a lot, like a lot of mm. lessons were cancelled, we strike there and Jesus. there was all the time like something yeah. going on. A so com A complete different experience. Yeah, yeah and then when I went to Boston, I, f I felt so positive, like I was mm. in the classroom and then the other students, <laughs> very international by the way, like yeah. everybody was from all over the place, but kind of this American dream kind of like stereotype. <laughs> Stereotype, yeah. yeah, like everybody wants to have, the, yeah, I want to have my own company and I, how do you see yourself in 10 years? Like, yeah, I will have this successful company, I will make company. this, or like a business idea or like okay, there yeah, yeah. was much more yeah. entrepreneur or like yes. a big successful band, I will be a successful <laughs> artist, okay. something like that. So that was for me was like, wow, these guys are really like uh, much more like yeah. optimistic like um, in Spain was like maybe the speech was quite different like yeah. find something safe work for the government something like that yeah. so yeah so I like that and that was a like very lift experience for me and I learned a lot of uh, computer technology and mm. um, like a little bit production and um, s recording techniques and I record yeah. some videos I before why well, I went there I was playing with quite a successful band and I through that I got the endorsement of this German brand of basses Warwick. Oh. So okay. I made some videos from that band and that was a little bit like helping me also with the becoming like a more known yeah. name in the bass. And then you finish Berkeley. Yeah, I graduated from Berkeley. And now, and now uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. You, you had Spain which was more or less it was still a mess. Yeah, it was Portugal and Italy and mm, South European countries were a mess. Still. It was still a mess. Maybe the I was I stayed for for some like time in the US, thinking if I should stay like um, in mm. New York. I was very interested, mm. but then it was very expensive, and the idea of applying for these visas, although I could have ah, stayed yeah. because I had the degree, but then I I decided to to give it a try to Europe. Okay. And that was through like meeting some people that I get to know this uh, d department in Sibelius Academy. Okay. And I was because I was interested on in going more into the um, like global music and world music. Yeah, and I was you were by now you were completely into this flamenco base. Flamenco jazz and yeah. improvisation and yeah, yeah, yeah. mixing. And I make an album in Boston, and then I with that album I came to Finland to do the audition. Okay. And I got... Uh, what was that album? The first album of mm. Cuajero. Oh, you did it in Boston? Yeah, I recorded it in Boston, Spain and Finland. Mm. But the main, the main recording session was in, in Boston. Okay. So then I completed the album with the rest so, of the takes. So, in, yeah. yeah. So you had, you had that? I had that, like a little bit like as a CV and my Berkeley yeah, yeah, degree. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, I came here. Yeah. And I applied for the university. I luckily got the study place. How many years was that? 2015, actually. Five years ago already? Yeah. You've been here for five years in Finland? Yeah, five years in Finland. Yeah. And, um, yeah, actually I applied for both Sibelius Academy and Metropolia. Okay. And I got the, in the master studies in both. Okay. So I took both of the places and I just put on hold the study place in Metropolia. Okay. Yeah, so I did the Glomas. <laughs> you could pick. <laughs> yeah, I, could, I, I yeah. was lucky, I think, to get into both places in 2015. So I, I could do that, and I, with that album I released it. Uh, I came 2015 in the summertime, and then I released the album in December that year. And it was released through Global Music Center. So okay. everything, I was looking for somebody in Finland to, to, uh, like to release it. Yeah. And it's I a super nice album. Thank you so much. I really, yeah. I really, really love it. Thank I don't you. say it just for saying it. Thank you. It's really special. Yeah, I think it was really special moment. And I put together a band um, with uh, some <coughs> musicians I met, and that was the first band I had in Finland. Mm -hmm. So I put it together, and then through that I start to play with more people. But at the beginning, when I came here, like no, nobody know me. I want to remember. Yeah. I, I went to the jam sessions. I went to some bars in town. Nobody really cared. Mm, just <laughs> just a, guy, a guy with a bass. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's almost as bad as a backpack. You're, you're <laughs> right. Almost. Almost as bad. You're right with the bass and people go like, like Yeah, almost we're as We're doing music here, but then, <laughs> like, Well, but actually it's it's interesting even if I'm joking because I mean